Hi, Scott from Digital Fish. I was out on the water with fishing mate Raymond Tankrell and we were heading for the 40 metre mark north of the noises. Just driving along and uh, oh, here we go, it's a party balloon out here. <laughs> Raymond just missed it. I'm just uh, getting a lot more aware of plastic in our environment and rather pick the stuff up rather than just let it break down the micro plastics and then the fish eat it and then I eat the fish so yeah we're not going to do that. There you go, Raymond's first catch of the day. Yeah, woo. Not, not a fishing balloon, it's someone's party balloon. So. Yeah, so we popped the balloon and all these little star things came out. Oh, whoever makes these things, don't do that. This is just all over my... Yeah, but anyway, all plastic in the environment. Awesome. The day was pristine, and we were drift fishing with slow jigs. Raven was the first one into a fish. Not a keeper, but a quick bite always makes for a good start. It's very calm and still out here. Then we'll try a little uh, tungsten jig, about 30 grams. Uh, fish it slowly on the bottom, see if we uh, can get a bit of action that way. We were hoping for some workup action at some stage of the day, but we're slowly coming across fish. Raymond scored again, this time a solid little snapper. I was doing a tackle test on an Akuma Metalloid Slow Jig Rod, rated for PE 1.5 to 4 line. It has the grunt for kingfish and the sensitivity for snapper. I changed lures a few times looking to see if a particular pattern would trigger the fish to hit the lure, but despite a few bites it was a bit slow. It was time to switch the micro jig for a seafloor control slow pitch jig and see if that was going to be the secret weapon. Jigging this Hayabusa jig you can see how it's meant to look like a dead falling fish, giving off flash as it sinks. And then I had a legal fish, grabbed my lure and I had something on the plate for dinner. Some workup action in the distance caught my eye and we sped over to see if we could get in on the action. Sure enough, a good hit on the bottom and some up and down fighting made me think I had dinner for the rest of the family as well. Turned out to be a grey snapper, aka kahawai, but it didn't stick. I usually crush my barbs, so small fish are easy to release by flicking the hook out. This one had a bit of barotrauma and couldn't swim down, so I paddled over to it with the net and then got my knife and carefully popped its air sac. An Australian study showed this was fairly successful for release and survival for snapper taken from depth. We had enough fish for a feed, and it was really a great day to be on the water. The only disappointing thing was so far picking up the balloon. As we will find out, there were more disappointments to come as we headed home. I just saw something fall out of the sky, I thought it might have been a drone, but uh, it's another party balloon. I don't know, is there a party around here we don't know about? I don't know, but yeah, not very good. Second party balloon out of the, out of the water today. Doesn't belong in the ocean. I thought we saw a work up, but a whole lot of seagulls. Uh, around someone's old burly bag. They didn't bother picking up the burly bag, they just chucked it out. Not very good. I have to say, we can probably do better as a race when it comes to cleaning up after ourselves. If you see any rubbish on land or sea, pick it up. Be a tidy Kiwi. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.